Chinese President Xi Jinping doubled down on a zero-COVID policy and talked up the need to safeguard national security as he kicked off the week-long Communist Party Congress on Sunday. Addressing roughly 2,300 delegates from around the country, Xi described the five years since the last party congress as extremely uncommon and abnormal. We have united and led the whole party, the whole army and the people of all nationalities to effectively cope with the severe and complex international situation and the enormous risks and challenges that have ensued. Despite resentment growing within communities that have suffered under China's strict zero-COVID policy, she stressed its effectiveness. We adhere to the principles of people first to protect people's lives and physical health to the maximum, coordinating epidemic prevention and control, as well as economic and social development to achieve significant positive results. Little else on the issue was said, dashing hopes among countless Chinese citizens as well as investors that Beijing might begin exiting a policy that has caused widespread frustration and economic damage. She spent more time speaking about the need to boost the country's ability to maintain national security. That includes stepping up the building of a world-class military. He drew the day's biggest applause when he restated China's opposition to Taiwan independence after reporting on achieving full control over Hong Kong. On the economy, she restated support for the private sector and allowing markets to play a key role to build what he called a high-level socialist economic system. The 69-year-old is widely expected to secure a historic third leadership term at the end of the five-yearly Congress. That would cement his place as the country's most powerful ruler since the founder of the People's Republic of China, Mao Zedong.